Hello everybody! Welcome to the show. Uh, bringing an exciting beer to you today. Uh, I believe this is the first time these two breweries have ever teamed up. And I'm talking Moonraker. Which way am I tipping that? Moonraker and Great Notion. Great Notion uh, is a really good brewery up in Oregon. Uh, I forget what part exactly, so I'm not going to make that up, but they're in Oregon. They make a lot of great beers, both uh, hazy, they make fruited beers, um, they've got a sour program that's solid, um, and quite honestly, hey, Jack, come here, check it, look at this, look what we... Can write something with this pencil? Oh, that's a pen. I'll tell you what, if you sit with me and do this video, you can write something. Hold Deal? on. All right, you'll be real right back. All right, uh, so so this is five. Th I'm sorry, this is five o three in the five three o. Five o three in the five three o. So uh, I'm sorry, in the five three o. Uh, let's see, what do we know about this? It's an imperial pale ale. Uh, brewed with Mosaic, Simcoe, Galaxy, and local honey. Over here, Jack. I got a chair for you right here. Nope, over here. Over here, over here. Wait. Yo. Yo, buddy. Come here. Look, I got your chair set up. You're ready to roll. So, uh, pretty cool design. Two great breweries. Let's see what we're working with. What are you going to draw, Jack? Ooh, I'm digging the color. Look at that. Um, that is a good sign right out of the gate. I gotta, I gotta make sure they're even here. Or the wife gets mad. Ah! Why? Jack, what's a wife? Uh, do you know what a wife is? I do. What is it? Do you know what one is? What this spells I Y A. Should we show everybody? Jack, what are you writing? C. Wow, you doing some letters here? Show the camera. Jack, you wrote Iyak. 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 It's kind of like a kayak, but it's an Iyak. Yep. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's see what we're picking up on the nose here. Ooh, smells real good. And by the way, this was canned on 8-8. Eight, eight. So, and Molly, what's the date today? Did you today? write a D here? It was canned today. <laughs> it was canned this morning. There's good news. What do you need Watch. me to do, buddy? Watch. It goes like this, and it goes like this, and it goes Oh, yeah. Like it's a cool this. one. All right. Here, let me get in on this, Jack, and see what we got working. Could you write a D here, a D. I said? Yeah, right here? Yep. Dyak. Dyak. All right. Jack, smell this. Tell me what you're picking up. So there's, wait, wait. there's a me. B, there's an I, there's a Y, there's an A, there's an C. What do you smell? I smell... Pickup? That's what I smell. You smell pickup? Yeah. What's pickup? Pickup is a type of fruit. Pickup is a type of fruit. Is it? Yep. Hmm. Learn something every day. Ray, do you want to have a smell? Jack just took a smell. He said it smells like pickup. That smells like Hoxa Bay. Hoxa Bay, Hoxa Bay, and pickup. Hoxa Bay. So one thing I really like about this, uh, I do smell the honey. There is a ve very fragrant um, quality to sort of that like local orange blossom honey. You know, you go to these festivals in towns like Auburn and, and other places, you know, and or farmers markets, and you know people are sampling that local honey. That actually is detectable here 
and it, it yet doesn't smell like sweet, but it has like this kind of caramely, uh, like caramely honey kind of thing happening. Uh, I also smell, I smell the grains in here. It smells like it's gonna be kind of a big beer. Look at all, uh, all of these balls. Wow. Um, Here's a big one. You know, and even the color, you know, it's got this sort of honey color and the foam on top is actually sort of caramel colored too, sort of yellow and straw, kind of that taking on a orangey hue. And it smells really nice. Um, I would definitely say sort of pungent fruits. I'm getting some citrus, but I'm getting this kind of uh, this kind of pungency that comes from sort of a an over ripened melon or pineapple. These are smells all really good. The See how it tastes. Cheers. Oh man, that is real good. Can you want? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> one of the best beers to come out of Moonraker in a long time. Uh, I need to try this. Watch. Oh, oh, Jack, no, no, we don't draw on ourselves. <laughs> I know, but no marker comes out because I, oh, because you had I it. did it like this. Yeah, I see that. You like it. She likes it. Wife likes it. Um, Did you want to uh, draw on yourself with no, this? I, no, I don't want it. Wow. I don't want it, uh, it has a huge flavor, like, punch. Um, you know, it definitely, like, this does not disguise itself. This is not a beer that, like, you can kind of get away with not knowing if it's a single or a double. Like, this is definitely, like, it Could feels... Could you write U.S. on here? U.S.? Yeah. All right. Feeling patriotic today? Um, that spells us. I just made uh, a so I'll have a tomato banana. Okay. Um, thanks, Rage. Oh, tomato and banana. I wonder if they pair well with the beer. So we're going right. Mm. We're going right. And uh, what's up? Yeah, I'd like some toast, too. Toast? Yeah, and an egg. Okay. Uh, all right, sorry. Let me finish this video, guys. We're running out of time. I will say this. Okay. Hold on, Jack. Jack and Raylan are yes. us. Jack and Raylan are us. I will write that. Give me one second. I just want to say one of my favorite beers to come out of Moonraker. Uh, this beer is fantastic. Um, I love the influence that Great Jack Notion brought to the table here. It is thick, it is heavy, it is juicy, it is riddled with sticky honey and big hop aromas. Uh, this beer is fantastic. Uh, I have not looked it up. I don't even know if people have rated it today. But guys, this is the real deal right here. This stuff is seriously <laughs> amazing. Hey, I mean, it's a flavor bomb for sure, with just this nice, rich texture. It's more of a texture thing and flavor together. It is quite lovely. Um, go find this beer, go trade for it, go try it. Uh, cheers, everybody.